Researchers call this machine EnviroBot. It's life's work, go for a swim and bring back some water. The EnviroBot is quite small, so one man can actually take it to the lake, drop it in water, and then send a mission which could be tree defined or a mission that you can tell EnviroBot try to do something. That mission is typically to test and identify sources of pollution. It's sort of a one-man job to just take it to the lake, take samples and then process the data on site or process the data later in the lab. There is no need to bring the lab facilities to the lake or taking samples and bring it back to the, back to the lab to process. Nature inspired the design. Every element has a single degree of freedom that can oscillate and all these degrees of freedom can create this kind of uh, swimming motion that is typical of eels and lampreys. Without propellers, researchers say the EnviroBot neither stirs mud nor disturbs marine life. Its motorized body is modular, so one piece may check water temperature while another tests for pollutants to locate a source of toxicity. It's made so in a way so, so that we can actually give it a mission and uh, have it autonomously survey some uh, surface of water, for example, and have it report back all the parameters we are measuring. EnviroBot conducts many tests in the water, but some samples still need the human touch. The robot is a prototype tested regularly in Lake Geneva. Researchers say they hope that it will one day detect more pollutants and heavy metals like mercury. Arash Erbasadi, VOA News.